Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the upcoming Genesis event, another PvP event in Shadowgun Legends. is the PvP event volume 9 and it's called Relay Hijack. Now there's a few interesting things worth mentioning today. First of all, since not that long ago, they changed the reward system in PvP. So you're no longer guaranteed war points when you win or lose. It could be a loot lottery, you can get some uh, armor, some new weapons, or you can get war points. So for the casual PvP players, it's a bit harder to gather war points. Now, I know hardcore players have tens of thousands of war points right now. It's kind of irrelevant for now until they add something else into the game. But for now, I mean, it's the system right now. And as in the previous PvP events, we're gonna have repeatable missions that you can get from Nitro, you know, once again, uh, you have tasks and when you complete, you get extra fame and extra war points. Now, maybe because of the new changes to the game, these quests from Nitro will be more relevant for a lot of players that don't play hardcore PvP every day, right? So maybe now they have more reasons to do these quests or maybe pay more attention because first of all, it's free war points. You just have to do something and you get 30 war points for doing it on top of the regular rewards. Now, they also changed something now. These quests will be easier to achieve because in the past, according to the analytics, the completion rate was not that high. So the missions are easier. They are similar, but the, the requirements are lowered a little bit. Now about the the missions, it's about half and half duels and team PvP. There's like five different quests, two for team, two for duel, and one that you can do in team or duel. Now I'm not gonna go and read all the quests, you guys will discover next week. It's gonna last a whole week as usual. Just one thing worth mentioning also is on the previous match stream, they said you will learn more about the lore, interesting stuff about the torment, or I don't remember exactly the details, but the story uh, should be interesting in these next quests. Now let's go and check the rewards because it could be the biggest set of rewards yet in PvP events. Because we have we have had some disappointments in the in the past about the rewards, like just one cosmetic hat and one sticker and one weapon. It's been pretty small lately, so this time we have a full set of armor. We have a cosmetic hat, we have a legendary weapon, uh, and a sticker, of course. But um, there are unanswered questions, guys. I did ask, I did not get an answer yet as I'm recording this video, but I'm sure we'll have answers very soon. First question is, is it going to replace the bulldozer set in the Nitro shop? Is it a permanent addition that will stay after the event is over? Now. Some guys on the stream yesterday said, yeah, pretty obvious. Every time there's a PvP event, we rotate the uh, armor set at Nitro. So I don't know yet. Now, next question is the legendary weapon. Is it going to stay in the shop after the event? Another big question that we'll probably have an answer soon. Let's check the rewards first. Uh, the aerial uh, body armor. It's a full set of armor. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I like the um, skinny armor, like the Raptor, but it's different. So, uh, blue and yellow. And we have a matching hat, although, yes, it is a reskin of the pilot helmet. It is matching with the armor. It's always cool when they do that. Although it's a reskin, some guys like, some guys don't like, but hey, it's free. And I'm always thinking about the free-to-play players that don't have a lot of cosmetics. When they have these events, it's a good way to have new cosmetics to uh, yeah, work on their swag. Now we have a look at the full set with the helmet and really it looks awesome. Next is the legendary weapon, it is the Nebula. So the only information I have is for participating in the hijack, the really hijack event, 
you'll get a legendary shotgun nebula so yes the nebula is back so it's been almost five months since the christmas event right the nebula was a reward for the christmas event it was all uh, it was only available for two weeks and guys that farm the bells could buy boxes or the nebula shotgun so yeah it's been five months can you believe it so all the players that miss or start playing the game after christmas did not really have access to nebula there were reports of players getting nebula for logging into the game for 30 days in a row and they would get the nebula as a gift uh, some guys reported having played 30 days in a row and not having the nebula so i don't know if it was bugged or if there was some problem but again when you get nebula as a gift you don't get to choose the perks but all the guys that played on the christmas event had a bunch of rotations for two weeks some guys missed the good one at the start so it's gonna be another shot for everyone now if you don't have nebula or if you have one but you don't like the perks it's gonna be your chance to get a better one check the shop every refresh try to get a good nebula i don't know how much it's gonna cost but faraday is 2000 and the smg i think 1200 1400 i don't remember anyways legendary weapons usually they cost a bunch of war points so nebula i kind of expect the same 2000 war points i guess uh, we'll see monday so i don't know you guys leave me a comment i thought it was weird that they bring nebula but thinking about it again yeah it's been five months right almost five months it's gonna be five months it's gonna be may in a week this is crazy so i is it too early for bringing back nebula i don't know you guys let me know what you think leave me a comment below guys and uh, yeah good luck in the pvp should be fun and i think there should be more action this time in the pvp event because the rewards are looking pretty good uh the easy war points should bring players to play more because it's a good way to get easy war points for real uh, when you guys see uh, the challenges it is worth the time to get a bunch of free 30 war points so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care